Nicole, and today we are Summer Braiding! Ella, a really fun holiday is coming up that I look forward to every year, and that is New Year's Eve. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Now, you at home might be celebrating something different, and that's totally fine, but today we're gonna be celebrating New Year's Eve. Do you remember what we do on New Year's Eve? Yeah. What? So, we were up at the cabin, then we said, okay, it's almost New Year's Eve. All these like banging things yeah, that we can we bang on, noise. and we do yay! Yeah, we celebrate. We go crazy again. We go happy New Year. <laughs> yeah. If you're celebrating something different at home, it could be your birthday or it's just something exciting that happened in your life. You can celebrate the same way by saying yay, hooray for yeah. you. <laughs> okay, should we see what's in our kit today? Yep, for doodles. A balloon a cup, some confetti, and a tape. Okay, that's our first project. This is actually two projects in one. Really exciting. Woo! So those four things are going to be for our balloon popper. Don't open the confetti until New Year's Eve or until you're celebrating. What's the next project? Paper, a straw, two rubber bands, decoration stickers, and two popsicle sticks. Wow, this is going to be so fun. I'm so excited to celebrate with you guys today. All you need is a pair of scissors, and then we're ready to get started on our New Year's celebration. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna start with our popper. So take your cup and your scissors, and we're gonna poke a hole in the bottom of your cup, and you're gonna cut out the bottom of your cup. I just use little tiny snips, and that way I can get around there better. Now that you've cut the bottom of your cup, it's going to be easy to cut this way. You're gonna cut about an inch down. It can be an inch and a half if you want. So cut an inch down from there, and then turn your scissors this way, and we're gonna go around, around and your around cup. And around and around. Good. So now we have our shooter. Now we're gonna take our balloon, tie a knot. This is how you tie a knot in a balloon. You're gonna stretch it over your two fingers. See my two fingers right here? I'm stretching it over my two fingers. Now you're going to go underneath, between your two fingers, push it underneath and between your two fingers, and pull it. Ah, my finger's stuck. There, okay, now you're going to take the tip of your balloon and just make a little cut. Make, I'm telling you to make a little cut first because you can always trim it more if you need to. Trim it and then put it over your cup just like this. If you didn't trim it enough, you can give it one more little trim, but you don't want to trim too much or the popper won't work. I'm rolling the balloon down a little bit onto the cup. Ella's having a little bit of trouble, so I'm gonna show you. You're gonna stretch it all out with all your fingers. Okay, and stretch it as far down as it can go on that cup. Okay, and then I really want this balloon to stay in place, so that's when my tape comes in handy. So you're going to unroll your tape, and then put it around that balloon and the cup. This also adds another little bit of color, which we love color when we're celebrating, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, once you have the tape on the balloon, you're actually done. I don't want you to trim anything because you could accidentally trim a hole in that balloon and that would ruin the whole thing. So this is perfect. You have your balloon and you have your tape that's all the way around there so that we can pop our confetti. Big, big mess. It is going to make <laughs> a big mess. So I'm gonna tell you, only do this if it's okay with your parents and only do this probably like outside or somewhere that your parents say that it's okay. Because if yeah. you do this in the house when your mom's not expecting it, she might get a, really little, a little upset. In our shooter, the balloon is acting like a rubber band. When you pull the knot on the balloon backwards, it creates potential energy, which we've talked about before in the Winkle, which then transfers to kinetic energy as you let it go sending the confetti flying. Pulling the balloon back just a little creates a small amount of force, whereas pulling the balloon back more creates bigger force. This results in the confetti flying at a higher distance and a higher rate of speed. 
Now remember, you are gonna wait until you're ready to celebrate. You're not gonna do it right now. You're gonna wait till you're ready to celebrate and we'll show you how. So put this in your mind and when you're ready to celebrate, you'll be all ready to go. We're gonna carefully open our confetti and sprinkle, you don't need to do the whole thing, just sprinkle a little bit of it into your cup, okay? That way, you have a couple of times that you can say, Happy New Year or Happy Birthday. You can fill your cup up a little bit, pop it, fill your cup up a little bit, pop it, and it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, are you ready to see it in action? Three, two, one, Happy Pop. New Year! <laughs> <laughs> Did you love it? Yes, it's so fun. <laughs> this is a huge mess, but it's so fun to celebrate with confetti. I hope your parents don't get too mad at us. Okay, one of our favorite things that Ella was talking about at New Year's is we make a lot of noise. I don't know why we make noise. Why do we make so much noise? I don't know. <laughs> this is going to make a harmonica. So with the things left in your kit, we're going to make a harmonica that will go <laughs> and make lots of noise <laughs> celebrate. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. So for the harmonica, again, you'll need a pair of scissors and you'll also need a marker or a pen or a pencil and then we can get started. Okay, Ella, take your paper and one of your craft sticks and trace the craft stick onto the paper. What do you think we're gonna do with this popsicle stick that we traced? No idea. <laughs> we're gonna cut it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the harmonica was said to be patented in 1821 by Christian Bushman, a 16-year-old German boy. Since then, it's become a top-selling instrument in the world. Wow. I know. Now we're going to cut two pieces of our straw, about an inch. And always make sure you're holding on to that straw so it doesn't go flying around. Okay, we're gonna place a straw piece on our stick and then place the paper over the straw. And then we're going to put another piece of straw over the paper like that. So one is under and one is over. Now we're gonna make a sandwich by putting our remaining popsicle stick on top. And then we're, we're going to secure both ends. So this gets kinda tricky, guys. Just be patient with it. Smash it together. Smash your sandwich together. And it's, eat it? No, do not eat your sandwich. <laughs> Smash it. It's okay if those straws get squished in there. You're going to tie the rubber band. I'll show you right here how to tie the rubber band. Put the rubber band around, twist, around, twist, around, twist. Whoop. There we go. I'll show you again on this other side. Now you want to scoot your straw in so that you have room for your rubber band. We'll put it here. See, I'm gonna hold it with this finger. Around, twist, 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 around. There, so in there you have your harmonica sandwich. Okay, now we get to decorate our harmonica. Ooh. This is totally up to you if you wanna do it, but I love making our projects more colorful, more fun. She loves doing that kind of stuff. I do, <laughs> it's just like my thing. I'm gonna decorate both sides. How about you? Mm, okay. <laughs> kind of, why not? Oh, cute. You have it on the other side of the rubber band. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I think decorations always make it feel more celebrate don't you? Yeah. You're not blowing in the straw. You're blowing on the stick right here on the sandwich part. So you're going to be blowing into it and you can always, like with any Winkle project, you can always try and experiment with it. So if you need to bring your straws closer together, or spread your straws closer apart, those will all make different sounds and different effects. Ready, Ella? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lips. The tickle. You gotta press tight. is vibrating as you gently blow through the two sticks with the paper inside and you get that sound. So you can change the pitch by sliding the straws closer or farther apart. 
Your voice is also a vibration. It can feel when you place a hand on your throat when you speak. Uh, 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 <laughs> so the same thing is happening in here. Now once you blow this for a little bit, the paper is going to get a little bit wet and start not working anymore, right. so you're going to have to let it dry. And then once it dries, you can blow it again. Thanks for joining us today everybody with our celebrating project that we have today. We hope you had so much fun. I know we had so much fun. And we can't wait to celebrate with you. If you have a grown up take a picture or video of you making your project or celebrating with your project, have them post it to social media and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Don't put your spit on me. <laughs> You've heard me play my harmonica before, right, Ella? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Am I pretty good? <laughs> Five, four, three.